lot of people ask me why I'm so passionate about speaking to young people. Well, for me, it's, it's a labor of love. It's something I've done all my life pretty much, but I, I realized this was my calling back in 2007. I was working as a sports reporter in Naples, Florida, and I had a chance to cover high school athletes, and I had to, had to write a story on a student athlete who got in some trouble and I wrote the article on him, and the following day I received a call from his parents, and uh, the student athlete was on the phone as well, and the student was crying. And Look, this is where we, this is, this is where we grew up. This is where we gonna stay. That's all they knew. And I would come in trying to change their whole mindset. I said, just because you are from the north does not mean you have to stay here. There's a big old world out here waiting for you. And I'm going to say the same thing to you. There's a world out here waiting for you. There's a world out here that needs your talents. They need you. And, you know, I just felt so bad that I wrote the story uh, about this kid who had made a mistake. And uh, it, it really affected his, his scholarship chances. He had received a scholarship to South Carolina to play football. And the article really affected his scholarship chances. And, at that moment, I realized I had to do more than just report on facts and cover stories to uh, help student athletes. I realized I had to get off the sidelines and get in the game and start to be on the front lines in terms of helping young people. And so ever since then, I haven't been looking back. I've been traveling across the country uh, with a mission to help young people discover their greatness, to look within, deep within themselves to find their purpose and find what it is that that they're passionate about. I believe every young person has a purpose. Every young person has a light inside of them that is meant to impact the world in a positive way and change the world in a positive way. So my mission is to reach young people all throughout the country, all throughout the nation, all throughout the world, and help them understand that they have a purpose. Help them understand that deep within them is a hero. Deep within them, there's a superstar. Deep within them, there is someone who's meant to change the world. I thought that his speech was great and it really motivated me to do better in life, in school, and everywhere. Coach Dixon is an excellent speaker. We enjoyed him today. He really motivated our students. He let them know that they should finish their race. This was the perfect opportunity for him to come at this time because we are at mid-quarters. So we're going to see how many students finish the race strong. At I meet so many young people who have lost hope, so many young people who have lost that glimmer in their eyes for whatever reason. They may be coming from a broken home, they may come from an abusive family, they may come from a, a gang infested area, and, and uh, they may come from different uh, environments. But no matter what, I believe every young person has something inside of them that we need to, as, as adults, as teachers, as educators, as coaches, we have to dig up inside of them and help them discover that so they can go and impact the world. I remember a few years ago I had a chance to read a letter from a, a student um, and I had spoken at her school a few days before and I received this letter from the young girl and she said, um, thank you for coming to speak at our school. Your words really inspired me. Um, I, I was on the verge of giving up. And at that point I realized this is more than just a job. This is more than just going from school to school to talk to students. This is really a, a mission. This is a calling. So every school I go into, I see it as a mission. Every school I go into is a river. And I don't know what student is ready to jump. I don't know what student is ready to drop out. I don't know what student is ready to give up. I don't know what student is ready to commit suicide. I don't know what student is ready to run away from home. I don't know what student is ready to quit and just give up on life. So when I, I started to see every school as my river, when I come into a school and I look into the amazing faces and beautiful faces of my young people, I'm saying to you, I'm coming into the river. I'm diving in and I'm going to save your life because you can't quit. You cannot give up.